Uh, I came in peace earlier, but, you know, I did kill the elk for its soul, so I'm gonna kill you too. I'm sorry. I'm- I'm just an asshole. I'm- I'm really- I'm a bad guy. Alright, look, I've made so many deals with demons. Look, it's like the least of my problems. For all I, for all you know, by the end of this, I'm gonna kill Parthenax. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> Guy says he might kill Parthenax. Instantly regrets it. When we had last left the last Dragonborn, they met the coolest dude alive in the city of Windhelm and helped him by beating up a fuckload of racists. <laughs> it was good. They found a journal and read it. And now it was time to help Norellian Quintus, I think? To help Norellian? To help repair the white file in order to save a dying old man. Yes, it was time to recover not just mammoth tusk powder, but also some super cool unmelting snow from the throat of the world. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> also, I've done a little bit of inventory management. We've stashed away a whole bunch of stuff. Bought and sold a few things. You know how it is. We traded some weird trash that we had in the form of potions for more ingredients to continue leveling up our stuff. When next we have the chance, the opportunity, let's head on out over up by Helhjarchen. Right. Should be a good time of day. Yeah, 649. Perfect. All right. Let's get our butt on over there. And then we'll try to ascend up the... 10 steps, 100 steps, 1,000, 10,000? I think it's, is it 10,000? No, it's like something between like 1,000 and 10,000. The 7,000 steps. That's right, 7,000 of them. I have no idea. <laughs> but we're going to go up all that. Okay, let's see. Get Prior Mabel here. There we are. And we're raring and ready to go. Good, good, good. On our way to get the, what do you call it over here? Look, the map is, is like, still in nighttime right now, despite the fact that the overworld, it's like clear as day. Alright, yeah. We've also cleared out pretty much everything out this way, right? I guess we didn't clear out Bleakwind Basin. Hmm. Fair enough. Anyhow, let's head on up here. Good, good, good. Lovely. Yeah, we're almost back up to... A hundred grand, I think, as far as gold is concerned, yeah. I want to say that we, we broke a hundred thousand before, right? I don't know if we'll break into a million, right? It's pretty tough to get to a shitload of money in Skyrim, unless you just want to grind it out for no apparent reason, right? I don't know, we might. We might. It's hard to say. Definitely, by far the easiest is and was Oblivion, right? Because vendors just had, you know, the unlimited supply of money. Your only thing that held you back was, like, um, whether or not you could bump up their supply, right? Which I kind of liked, but at the same time, it totally did unbalance shit. <laughs> I mean, already it's, it's, there is a balancing issue with money, right? Already. Like, you just get filthy fucking rich in these games, right? Let's see, do I have any more of these? No, I have no more. Okay. There we go. Get you. Fill up some gems. Gotcha. Let's search him for that delicious chitin. Or I guess, I guess he shouldn't eat that part. Alright. There we go. Lovely. Cool. Alright. Gosh, yeah, look at this. It is such a serene day. Look at this. What a nice little scene. Oh, it's almost like perfect composition as well. Well, except for like the level of detail rendering over there. That's not that great. <laughs> Don't worry. It'll, it'll all be fixed in the Elder Scrolls 6. Right? Right? Tell me it'll be all right. <laughs> no, I've said it before. I'm sure I'll like it even, even if it's... Uh, 
a complete fucking disaster. I'll probably still find some- Oh, Find some joy in it. I'm like the last person you should come to for a uh, critical opinion on Elder Scrolls. Let's see, I'm not sure if we have a Black Soul Gem, but we'll figure it out. There we go. Have you noticed that it's not exclusively, but the Dark Brotherhood assassins have often been Argonian or Khajiiti, right? I'm pretty sure we got like Dunmer in there before, but it's been a lot of beast folk, right? Huh. I wonder why that is. All right. Like I know there's, you know, the the Dark Brotherhood faction or whatever of the shadow scales i think right oh shit defibrillate that ass sorry elk friend i need your soul i'll take your antlers too okay let's head on up here but yeah i know about them right like if you're a argonian born to uncertain parents under a certain star or whatever <laughs> But, uh, if you are, like, an Argonian born under certain conditions, you get inducted into them, like, automatically. They come and, like, abduct you or whatever the heck. But that's not really what we're dealing with here, right? I'm not even sure if they're in Skyrim? There might be a member, or one of them, in Skyrim, right? But certainly they had a greater presence in Cyrodiil, in Oblivion. But even then, it wasn't all that many. Fuck, we really should have taken Prior Mabel. God, I'm dumb. Oh no. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Let's see. Do I have Whirlwind Sprint at the ready? Yes, I do. Here we go, we'll sprint right up Whoa. those trees. Nah. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see, up and over here. Oh shit, I should have used my clear skies like it's getting pretty frigid. We'll do a quick save. Look, this is the giant area with their giant rocks. Where do you think they get these big, like, reddish rocks from, huh? And they do painting? We've never seen them do any of their cool painting and art and all that, right? Clearly, they have, like, quite a bit of intelligence, right? Like, hmm. I wonder why they don't ever want to talk to people or whatever. I don't know. They're like the... The Amish of Skyrim. <laughs> they are, aren't they? Gosh, and you get the cheese and stuff from them. People trade stuff to them and all that. Yeah, the giants are like the Amish of Skyrim. <laughs> all right. Okay. A little strange. Potentially dangerous. But so far, if just as long as you leave them alone, they don't fuck with you. All right. <laughs> A lot of unknowns. All right, let's take all this. What have we got? Oh, Daedric male boots. I'll take that. I wonder why they keep around the treasure. Maybe it's for trading? I don't know. I'd assume so. Hey, do you mind? I'm gonna... I'm just gonna take some cheese. Or, not even cheese, but tusk powder. Did that upset you? Get the fuck out! Stop taking my powder! Oh, do you think this is in combination with their hammer or whatever? It's a mortar and pestle. I bet that's totally the case. Here, you know what? Uh, I came in peace earlier, but you know, I did kill the elk for its soul, so I'm gonna kill you too. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just an asshole. I'm I'm really I'm a bad guy. All right. Look, I made so many deals with demons. Look, it's like the least of my problems. For all I, for all you know, by the end of this, I'm gonna kill Parthenax. Oh God. Oh, God! <laughs> Guy says he might kill Parthenax. Instantly regrets it. <laughs> Fuck, that's so funny. <laughs> Fuck, that's gotta, that's gotta be the opening. I don't even give a shit. You know, if anything, like, uh, even funnier than that happens, that's, that's gonna be it. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. I do really want the soul, though. I do really want that. Do I have, like, destruction damage, uh, improve, or <laughs> bonus? Yeah, there we go. Filter of destruction. Lovely. Oh, look. I actually managed to s knock you for once. Oh, look. There we go. Huh. 
How come it's working now? It wasn't working before. How weird. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please! Ooh! <laughs> okay. Boom! Give me that soul. Lest we forget the furtive pygmy. Let's take all this, your toe. Oh yeah, the toe also is really good, huh? Okay, should we take the pelts? You know what, we may as well. Even though I didn't take the pelt off of the elk, I don't know. I'm fickle. I'm terrible, I'm strange, I'm fickle. What can I say? I'm the dragonborn. <laughs> Just dragonborn things! <laughs> Alright, let's get on over here. Should I chow down on some cheese? Should I just, like, eat some victory cheese? Oh, we get double cheese? No way! Oh my god! Damn, I need that when I'm, like, getting a pizza or whatever the fuck. <laughs> okay, over here. Should we oh, look! A necklace of eminent sneaking. And a unique item. One of the special creation club Varla stones. We haven't seen one of those in, like, a million years, huh? Alright. Anything else? Just some big ass bones, more parts of mammoths. Right? I mean, we look at this, right? And maybe your first instinct is like, oh, weird, gross. Oh, they keep around the bones of dead mammoths and stuff. But it's like a way of honoring them, right? You know? I mean, shit. Fucking Dunmer living a giant fucking dead crab. Right? <laughs> Go around wearing bone mold armor and shit. Okay. Oh god, or at least, or at least everybody used to live in that crab. Man, <laughs> that's so fucking sad. <laughs> I love it though. I kind of love that they just like, <laughs> I don't know, all the cool shit that I love in Vardenfell. They just go and just like, I don't know, <laughs> stomp on my dick. <laughs> oh, you remember all this cool shit that you like? Fucking gone. Got rid of it. Destroyed. There we go. Alright. Little do they know, I've still got Morrowind installed. I can live through it to the end of time. <laughs> That's right, with the power of the Elder Scrolls, aka my Steam account. <laughs> there we are. Gotcha. Sorry, dude. Had to be, well, I mean, it didn't really, but. I wanted it to be done. I'm bad. There we go. Alright. Let's see. Let's bring this up. Hmm. So now we just need to haul ass down here over... Well, down and up. To the throat of the world. Okay. Good. Let's see. Let's bring this on up. Over here, can we, did we build up a carriage yet at Helhyarchen? Helhyarchen is definitely our, like, least, uh, what would you say, it? least constructed of our little fortresses or manors or whatever they're called. Homesteads. Here we go, clear skies. No! Parkour! Whew. At the very least, hopefully we've got, like, a nice fire or something. Because fuck me. Freezing my butt off out here. Jeez, and Pete. All right. There we go. Yeah, I don't think we... We got a horse carriage at all. Okay. It's pretty bare bones. I think this is even still, like, the first stage of the house. I don't even remember who we had come up here. Who did we have come up here to hang out and, like, watch over the place? Did we even have anyone do that yet? Were we, like, intending to have... Karjo, no, because remember we decided not to have Karjo do it. Because Karjo is just kind of like chilling with us as like a friendly favor for getting back his amulet, right? He didn't sign up for, he didn't, he didn't want to go and like protect some fucking dude's manor and shit, right? <laughs> like, no, Karjo, you better do it. Come on, man. <laughs> you said you would help. I got your amulet. We just keep holding it over his head. Poor fucking Karjo. Oh god, look, I can't even cast anything anymore. Here we go. Did I hit it? I think I did. Boom! God, I feel bad. Alright. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Isn't there even, like, a stat that keeps track of, like, how many innocent rabbits or whatever you slay? 
Good lord. Or am I thinking of, like, World of Warcraft stat tracking or something like that? No, maybe they both do it. Right? Here, let's check. We can check right now. Let's see, just have curiosity. Or is it crime? Is it considered crime? No. Man, <laughs> what would it be considered? Hmm. Horses stolen? No. That's not even there. It would be under crime, horses stolen. But where's our... Yeah, 56. Jesus. Huh. Look at this. These are rookie numbers. We gotta get these up. People keep seeming to, like, ruminate on the fact that, like, how come you never actually pay off your bounties? You just want to keep it. Yeah, that's exactly it. I just want to keep it. <laughs> I want the numbers to go up. <laughs> I like being wanted. I like being a criminal. What can I say? Like I said earlier, I'm bad. I'm a bad person. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, shit. We're going, we're going northward. Okay. Oh, jeez. Look, I can't even keep track of where I'm going. I'm like in mammoth ecstasy or something. Okay, there we go. We're <laughs> just going the completely incorrect direction. Oh, fuck. Ooh, it's a warwolf. Boom! Finish him, Carjo. Oh, shit. Damn. Get him with the slap chop. Grab the pelt. Good. Grab a load of flowers and stuff. Okay. Now look. Snow's no! coming back. Not today, dude. Okay. So there's our objective. Let's do a quick save. Hey, who's this? Oh, it's, I think it's just a... Wait. I know you. I don't think we've heard that line delivery by that voice actor yet. Huh. Alright. Fair enough. Okay. Over here, grab some of these, why not? Uh, look, the cart has moved, right? The fruits of our labor on display. There we go. Oh shit. Grab some of these. Look, on the on the bright side, we are getting like oodles and oodles of alchemical reagents, but I guess that's always the case wherever we go. Because <laughs> wherever we the stuff is just everywhere. I love it. Just free money everywhere. May as well be. Money and levels. I love it. It's beautiful. So much of this tundra cotton. Okay. Now look, even more. Even more still. Okay. Did we ever actually investigate this building? White Watch Tower? No. Should we look at this while we're here? Is this actually involved in anything? Oh, look. Oh, don't look, Karju, it's cursed. Oh, it is really cursed! What is all this? Oh, this is from the last time we were here, right. Remember the giant threw the dragon? Oh, look. Hey, these dudes are here now, too. Okay. Maybe this dragon will land and give us a rumble. Okay. I kind of don't want to do the quick save and quick load trick to fix this. Because I'm afraid it'll mess with the dragon spawn. Because I do want to fight this thing. Right? Should I, like, be shooting at it right now? Try and aggro it? It might just be ready to fly off, though. I don't know. Get back here! Yeah, I think it's... Okay. It's peacing out. Yep. There it goes. Okay. Let's see. Let's do our little trick. And let's see. There we are. Quick save, quick load. Now, usually this will change the area where they spawn in at. Oh, over here. Yeah, okay. We're still good. All right. Karjo! Come hither, dude. I got some sweet dragon shit. Khajiit got your back. I will shoulder some of your burden. Okay, here we go. You take some of these hides just as well. Good. Okay. Lovely. We follow then. All right, good. Do you think Karjo sees me as like a Dunmer going around picking up, um like, bones and shit to use in armor and weapons. He's just, like, fucking typical. <laughs> of course. Of course this is happening to me. <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of here. 
Okay, down this way. Good, good, good. Look, we got a little distracted by this wonderful little area, but it's time to head out. Wait, is there actually an interior to this? Or is it completely external? Wait. I think no, it's completely you... external. Yeah. Yeah, no signs of, like, an entryway. Got another butterfly, though. Yeah, okay, weird. It's just, like, a little... Little archway tower combo. Maybe from when the city of Whiterun used to be a little bit more sprawling. Or whatever, right? Used to have more stuff around, but you know. Not enough money coming through, right? Empire, not not helping people out when they need it. Unmanned patrol areas and stuff. Unman old abandoned imperial forts and junk. There we go. Grab all this. You know, now that I think of it, in Morrowind, are there ever actually any abandoned imperial forts? I don't think so, and that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Because Morrowind has, like, recently just had the Imperial occupation, right? Or not occupation, I should say, but they've recently, like, started coming in and trying to, like, like maneuver politically and gain more ground, right? So all of the fortresses and stuff are fairly new, right? Every every tidbit of, of the Empire there in Morrowind during the time of that game, it's all fairly new stuff. I think, yeah, maybe the only only abandoned Imperial outpost or building is is from the plug-in, right? Huh, because even the one that's been, like, warped and twisted by the Telvanni shit, it's still got people in it, right? I mean, it's certainly not nearly as, like, Empire-centric, right? Okay, let's see. So now... We need to get down here. What's our best route? I think maybe we just roll up and around, right? We're going to go up here and read an old scroll anyway, right? We've still got that with us, don't we? Let's see. If I just search through all... Elder. Yeah, Elder Scroll Dragon. Okay, good. Actually, let's make a quick pit stop over in town. And then we'll grab, like, a, a horse. That way we're just a bit quicker to get up the mountain. Okay. Let's see. Where's my whirlwind? Sprint. Whoa. Go. Ah. Good. It must be weird seeing the dragonborn out here in the middle of a, like, field in the middle of farms and stuff. <laughs> just seeing the, just some, some random person traveling the roads or whatever. They hear the shout and they're like, what is that? And then eventually they see and it's just like... Some dumbass running around through the fields, and every second they slow down a bit and scream loudly, look up into the sky, because for whatever reason I do that almost, like, 80% of the time I look up into the sky or whatever, and then they just, like, shoot forward, <laughs> like, 50 feet or some shit. <laughs> it probably looks really ridiculous. Need a ride? All right. Yeah, I do. Can take you to an not. I do not. Look, you almost got me. You almost got me. I'm so used to it. Not this time. I just, I need a different kind of ride, not your kind, though. All right. Are we good to go? I'm just going to take it. Okay. Carjo, floor it! Carjo, floor it! Floor it, Carjo. There we go. We're good. We're good. Are you a guard? No. Farmers. Okay. Good. <laughs> We're fine. This is one of the issues, though, that that I have concerns about is whenever we steal shit with a companion, I'm worried that they're just going to decide, like, <laughs> like, the fight or flight activates for both of us. And nine times out of ten, for me, I'm in flight mode. And nine times out of ten, for them, it is definitely fight mode. <laughs> it's definitely time to just beat ass. <laughs> Alright, let's go on up here. It would be cool if there were, like, a, um, I don't know, some sort of condition that you could write into whenever you steal a horse. That's like, yeah, if the player is stealing a horse, there's a very high chance that they are not wanting to stick around and actually fight dudes. So we're going to have their companion flee with them and stay next to them, right? I'm getting out of here. Or you, you could just solve that by, like, you know, having multi-person mounts. Right, for companions. Oh, look. 
the wolves have arrived. Okay. That's fine. Oh, God. I can't get up here. Oh, jeez. All right. We got it. It's fine. There we are. Okay. Good. Now we need to exit Riverwood out of this leftmost path that we hardly ever take. Right? All right. Hey, everyone. Remember me? No? Okay. Fair enough. You know, it's been a while. Let's head on out this way. There we go. Okay. Good, good, good. Does, um, does the old grandma, Sven's, like, mom or grandma or whoever that is, does she ever, like, get, I don't know, exonerated? Like, if, at some point, is she ever, like, I fucking told you! There are dragons! I knew it! <laughs> as, as, like, there's a literal dragon flying through the town, burning shit. Good god. Okay. Up here. Maybe the entire, like, town of Riverwood changes, right? It becomes, like, a... Like, more akin to Morthal. She becomes... Sven's mother or grandmother becomes, like, the town wise woman or whatever. It's like, my god, she has foresight. She has clairvoyance of some some kind. <laughs> so, oh, shit. Oh, sorry. Wrong turn at Albuquerque, dude. Ooh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. All right. <laughs> We're good. We're good. But yeah, the entire infrastructure is changed around to just, like, listening to old Mrs. Sven. <laughs> Whatever her name fucking was. Is she even Sven's, like, relative? I don't remember. I think she was, right? Because isn't it Sven who's like, Oh, come on, Mom. Why do you gotta talk about dragons? Come on. I, those are just the stories you told me when I was a kid. There's, <laughs> there's no dragons? What, 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 are you, what are you talking about, Mom? That's not true. That's not real. <laughs> Good God. All right. Over here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck I'm even doing this, right? We probably should have just gone to Iverstead, right? We should have just taken the carriage to fucking Iverstead. But instead, look at me go. What a fool. What a fucking fool I am. All right. We knew this would happen, right? We, look, we, we've we tuned into her, her clairvoyant actions. We knew that we would have like a bazillion trips up here. Each one more excruciating than the last. All right. Let's see. So if we go up here, we should just be able to hug the leftmost path. And we should be fine, right? All right. You know, earlier it was, in real life, it was storming and thundering, and I was worried that we may have to call this one early. But so far, I don't hear anything. I think it's let up, right? So I think we are a-okay. Oh, look at this. How does this shit still look good to me? Am I just... Am I just dumb? <laughs> does it not actually look as good as I imagine? I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. Right? Maybe maybe it's the effect of... The special edition. Or something like that. Right? You know... What I do expect, though... Because of how the special edition played out... Oh, who the fuck are you? Who are you? Are you a hunter? I th you must be a hunter. Okay. But yeah, because of how the special edition played out and all that, I would guess that Elder Scrolls 6 will not be as, like, desaturated and, like, all brown and gray throughout a lot of it, right? Maybe in certain regions like what we're seeing here, right? But they definitely upped the lighting and saturation and, like, even Bloom. Maybe too much in the case of Bloom, right? Some of the Bloom seems a bit much. But I'd guess that we would see some some nice color, right? All over the place. Okay. Down and around here. Jeez, I forgot about this, like, harrowing little ravine. Whoa, who are these people? Are, this is this... doesn't concern you, citizen. Oh, I bet it does, though. Get a load of this. Hang on, hang on, get a load of this. Whoa! How did you 
do that? I'm the Deborn. It's me. This doesn't concern you, citizen. Okay, I'm just going to kill these people. Let's see. <laughs> We're just going to kill them. Flee from my sight, with official or I'll have you shipped business. back to Varden fell in a crate. Oh, shit. I never heard them say shit like that before. All right. Let's see. Get a load of that. Ugh. There we go. Okay, let's get some... Do I have more destruction bonus? Yeah. May as well take it. Because we're getting quite close to maxing out our shit here. Oh shit, you got some magic on your hand there. Go. Make sure you're completely zapped. What the f fuck kind of racist bullshit did that guy say? Sorry, the elven way is the, the truth. When will you, you see? Shut the fuck up. There we go. How did I not hit Karjo there? Oh my god, I weaved that Fusero doll like nobody's business. Threading the needle with Karjo there. How did Karjo not get hit? What the fuck? Karjo, did you do that? Did I do that? What kind of miracle did we just witness? Alright, fuck me. Let's see. Should we take some of their shit? Uh, I'll take a hat, I guess. We don't really need any of this, though, do we? The flowers are worth more. Alright. Yeah, fuck them. Alright. Oh, horsey. Oh, no! Of course you know! <laughs> okay, okay, hang on, hang on. We can fix this. We can fix this. Here. Uh, animal allegiance. Run! There we go. Oh, great. I got another bounty. Who told on me? The other horse? <laughs> Jeez. I'm surprised we didn't get bounty for, like, the rift or something. Right? I don't know. Does, does the horse actually matter? Does the horse's point of origin matter? Huh. Like, if I stole a horse from, like, Markarth and brought it all the way to Riften, dismounted it, and remounted it in front of some guards, I would get bounty for the Rift, right? Right? Not for whatever Markarth region is. The Reach. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this funny dog. <laughs> all right. It's strafing me like a fucking Quake player. Let's see, let's bring this up. Head here. On the top left. Ooh, there we go. Come on. Get some more stamina in you there, friend. Alright. Good, good, good. Alright, one of the things I totally am, like, expecting is a massively rehauled, like, ooh, shit, horse mount system, right? Where you can, like, Get all sorts of fun stuff for your horse and stuff, you know. Bring back the horse armor and shit. All that good stuff. Except make it way more detailed. And probably don't make it uh, a paid DLC. Make that, like, <laughs> part of the game by default. <laughs> right? And they could, whenever they show off the game uh, in their, like, little press conference or whatever, someone will be up there, probably, like, Todd or Pete or some shit. I'll be like, yeah, and we got horse armor, but don't worry, everybody. You don't got to buy it this time. That's right. It's in the game. And the crowd goes wild, and it shows, like, a big detail, like, take your horse to the stables. Here, you can upgrade the shoes, the armor, the saddlebags. <laughs> right? They do, like, the whole uh, Red Dead Redemption slew of, of detailing and shit. Do you want to put paint on your horse? Fuck yeah, you do. <laughs> Good God. Up here. There we are. Good, good, good. But that said, also, let's get some mounts that aren't just horses, you know? Shit. ESO got me a little fucking spoiled running around on Nyx Hound or whatever. A Nyx Ox. Like, shit. By the way, if you haven't seen, we occasionally do a little ESO stream here and there. Good lord. Enjoy that if you do. Stream it on the Twitch. Also, archived on the Secret Archive channel. The not-so-secret Secret Archive channel. 
All right. There we go. Good, good, good. As usual, just a shitload of bears up here. What do you think they even do here? Like, do you think there's like a bear cave on the path? I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're doing a pilgrimage as well. The bears, the, the trolls, all that shit. Maybe they're on pilgrimage to see High Hrothgar and leave a little something for the- Oh my god, there's a bunch. There's a bunch of dudes! But they're here to leave whatever the fuck for the Greybeards, right? I believe it. Okay. Up and over here. Jesus, how many fucking creatures are still chasing us? Surely a few have leashed. Yeah, maybe all of them, in fact. Okay. I'll take it. Here we are. Good, good, good. Now, when we want to go back up to see old Parthenax, we don't need to do our clear skies business again, right? It's It's been cleared now, right? It's all good. Jeez, what mountain range is that? Oh, it's the Gerald Mountains, right? Yeah, that's Cyrodiil over there. Yeah, those are the Gerald Mountains. Fuck me. Gosh, I remember we remarked similar shit like last time. Or not, maybe not last time, but one of the times we came up here. But jeez, I don't think we saw it during such a good time of day. Goodness, it looks so cool. Okay, up and over here. A little drained. All that junk, it's fine. I think there's a bed up here at High Hrothgar. If not, you know what, we can just jump off the mountain. Okay. Don't tell, uh... <laughs> Karjo, don't tell Parthenax what I said earlier. <laughs> that was in another life, you don't remember that part. We, we had to load out of that after I got my ship shoved in. <laughs> okay. Over here. Good, good, good. All right. Jeez. Who even counted all these steps, right? What the fuck? How long it must have taken them to, like, carry all these big blocks of stone all around here? Maybe they had wizards do it, right? You know, the ancient Nords, they weren't as skeptical about wizardry. Maybe they, like, telekinesed all of it up and around. Oh, <sighs> okay. Here we are. Right? Right up here? High Hrothgar? Fuck, I hope so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there we are. Still looking cool, huh? Okay. Good, good, good. Yep, got their little statue and everything. And what kind of architecture is this? Is this ancient Nord? I guess, I assume? I don't know. Who built High Hrothgar? Was it like the dra- it was the Dragon Priest and shit, right? Yeah, so it'd be like the same as like Labyrinthian and all that. Okay. Let's see. Hey Wolfgar, what's up? Dova King. Oh. Okay. How about Bori? Hey, where's um, where's Arnio? Where's he at? I need to ask him about if I can pick up some snow. See you around. Also, I should probably check in with him with regards to the main quest. You know, let him know that I've got the the Elder Scroll. I've just been walking around with it the whole time. <laughs> Sky above, voice within. Oh yeah, and we should pick up another word of power. Hey, have you located any words of power, Arngear? I called him Arniel. I'm sorry. We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Okay. Shear point. I wonder where that is. Let me check. Out of curiosity. Okay. Find the word of power in Shear Point. Oh, it's up here by Windhelm. Okay, well we can hit that up when we're doing when we're wrapping up the white file quest, right? Okay, good. Well, let's get on out of here. Hit up a quick save. There we go, into the courtyard. Unfortunately, we do have to walk the rest of the way, don't we? Ugh. Hey, Einarth. Einarth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so powerful. Okay. Oh shit, do we really have to do it again? Fuck me. 
Right, because normally you could just fast travel up there, huh? Oh, shit. Is this like the hurting fog? Stephen King's The Mist? Yeah! Oh! Luke! Parkour! Wait, it wasn't hurting me. Did you see that? My health didn't go down. I made a remark, but I didn't get hurt. Hang on, let's, let's try this. Am I fine? I got some kind of debuff, but my health wasn't decreasing any. Huh. Okay. Let's get some picks going on here. There we are. Good. Do some swings. Look at that, Carjo. Look, this is silver. Good stuff, huh? I think your amulet was made out of silver, right? Let's see. Let's test it again. Huh. Yeah, look at all those debuffs kicking off on us. But they're not really doing anything. Weird. Oh, hey, we need this thing. Oh, we need you dead. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah! I think I got it. Okay, good. Just need two more. Look, that worked out pretty well, huh? Run while you can, goat lord. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's see. Get some of this or calcum. Good. All right. Yeah, this, um, this seems weird. Seems pretty weird that this isn't, like, killing the shit out of me. But I'll take it. It means we can get through here way faster, right? Maybe it's bugged that it's still here, right? Maybe that's not working as intended. There we go. Eat a butt, dude. Here's a good question. Huh, here's something I didn't even think about. When I cast my spell, and I'm gaining XP and all that, how many casts does that count as? When I do it like this, does this count as two? Right? Although it's shooting only one projectile and only one instance of damage hits the target? Right? Or is it... Would it theoretically be better for me to... Like, if I wanted to level to shoot two separate blasts because the thing get the creature gets two different instances of damage, right? Huh. Something worth thinking about. Okay. Good lord. Look at all this shit. Jeez. Will we find one more Ice Wraith? I don't know. Sorry, Goat Lord. Oh, God, you are gone forever. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Over here. Shit, I don't know. Maybe maybe even the XP bonus is, like, increased. Maybe it's, like, 2.25% or 2.25 times more XP for getting, like, the special dual cast animation. Probably not. I'll just expect the worst, right? All right, here we are. Hey, Parthenax, I hope that's you. You, <laughs> you old fuck. It. The Kel, the Elder Scroll. You have it. <laughs> the Kel, the Elder Scroll. Tidkrech, Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Okay. Sure. All right. Actually, you know what? I don't know if you heard there. The thunder is starting to kick up, so I think maybe we end this one a little early, huh? 
I think we grab our snow, and then we don't read it just yet. <laughs> I think next time we'll read it, right? I think we'll play it safe. Because I forget how long it takes to even do this. I don't want to, like, have electric go out in the middle of, like, a big event and all that. All right. There we go. Hey, look at that. We got unmelting snow. You know what? That's something. That's something. All right. Let's also... How does it look? Oh. Oh, no, wait. I got... Whoops. There we go. How does it... Ooh. Oh, weird. I carry it around in a little basket. Huh. How about that? Items in your inventory that you never look at. All right. Cool. Well, when next we come back, we will read at the time wound. Wherever it is. I forgot where it's even at. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, there it is. We'll read that. We'll travel through time, sort of, and get some information and have a big super showdown and all that good stuff. Right? Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>